And we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Three round amateur attraction in the Bantamweight division. Making his way to the cage first, fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of Pontypool, Wales. Here is Sean Scrivens. And his opponent tonight making his way to the cage, finally out of the red corner from Swansea. Here is Aiden James. Once again, three rounds, amateur bantamweights, referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Veteran referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Amateur bantamweight division, Sean Scrivens in the blue trunks, and he's taking on the birthday boy, Aiden James, 20 years old today. What a way to celebrate. Yeah, Sean Scrivens taking the center of the cage here. Bit of a flashy a dancing movement from Aiden James here. Scrivens, I beg your pardon, in the white shorts, James in the blue. Technical difficulties there. Straight jab. Quick hands from both guys here. James has got the range, be nice to see him use it, try and establish a bit of domination in this striking discipline earlier. Ever so slight height advantage for the man from Swansea. He's going to look to put it to good use here against the man with equally fast hands. Scribbins taking the centre of the cage. 
Aidan James happy to dance around him for now. Doubling up on the jab. It's a bit better from James. You know, having that reach advantage allows him to be lazier, but a little bit easier with that jab. <laughs> so, yeah, once he steps inside, you get a really quick flurry from Scrivens. <laughs> That's the key to having the reach advantage and utilizing it effectively, forcing your opponent to take that step towards you and catching them when they come in. Let's see if James can put that into play here. Triples the jab that time. Yeah, much better work from James. None of them finding the mark, but giving his opponent a few things to think about. That was much tidier from Scrivens. That's what he's got to look to do, get in, get out quick. Can't get stuck in that awkward middle range. Flurry of activity. Let's breathe the man moves forward. I really like the hand speed from these two. They're not throwing with the 100% you know, of their power, but they're throwing to the man repeatedly, consistently. And if you know, two or three of those catch the target at 60%, they're going to do some damage. He's looking to throw a kick in there as well, just mix things up a little bit. See if he can catch James off guard. <laughs> nice jab there from Scrivens that time. <laughs> Game going for the kick of Scrivens, but he doesn't want to do here. Just get caught up in the range boxing match. Nice throw against the cage from Aiden James. And Scrivens did a good job of firing back, but he's got to keep firing back. Good coverage against the best. Really nice way to end it. was a very controlled, excellent first round for two amateurs. Very precise striking on display from both these young men. I'm sure we'll get to take a look at that in a moment's time. So let's take a look now at some of the action from that first round. They may have been slightly lumbering at the start, but you can see as soon as they jumped into the middle, this were flying at an impressive rate. Both guys just throwing a bit short. Neither one really throwing past the opponent's head. Both of them just trying to hit a few, a few inches shy of the target. That's a nice right hand on the bottom from Scrivens that time. Yeah, this left, left hand as well. He, he snuck in there, but this was a really good flurry at the end from Aidan James. And as you say, Josh, none of them landing with massive amounts of power and not all of them landing clean but the cumulative effect is certainly going to be playing on the judges minds when they're tallying the scores for that first round yeah getting stuck and covering up against the cage as scrivens was is great if you've got you know 14 or 16 ounce boxing gloves on but in smaller mma gloves it leaves you very exposed round two here cage warriors 71 amateur bantamweight action Three minutes done, six still to go if they need them. A bit more movement in the hands of Scrivens here. Very much how we saw at the start of the first round, though, Scrivens taking the center of the cage. Going up high with the kick that time with Scrivens. It's always going to be hard coming from the, the outside and the back leg like that. It's got to find its way all the way over the shoulder, the front shoulder of your opponent. Close first round. Perhaps you give Aiden James a nod with that final flurry. Still very much everything to play for here for Sean Scriven. Scriven's very much trying to almost play a bit of a counter punching game here, waiting for James to come in and then fire off his own flurry. That, that's a stupid inside cutting kick that we saw. Well, a couple of times for him. Yeah, a nice straight right hand counter. That goes on top. He's getting backed up on the cage again here, Josh. Yeah, he's going to get out of this corner. <laughs> you see, the cage keeps him in. That's why it's a really horrible range for him. Right at the end of Aiden James's punches. Screaming needs to circle off that cage if he can. Right hand counter. Uh, good work from Scrivens to close the distance, bundling his man to the ground. 
now he has to worry about those long legs in the guard game. They do present an entirely different set of challenges. Looking for the armbar here. Suck his arm out. Not successful, but shows you how quickly he can get those legs up and again looking for that armbar. All his options here. Triangle as well. The long legs just make it so much more difficult. You see how well straight away the armbar again. Triangle was there also. Scrivens has got to keep his man stacked up here. He can't let him extend. This could be got dangerous to... if he can't get that elbow out, Josh. Oh, he's got to bury all his weight down in his body. There's the tap. There's the submission. Aiden James, precise boxing on the feet, took the takedown and was precise on the ground as well. Yeah, really nice uh, clinical submission finish. Showed the intent straight. As soon as they hit the ground, his intent was there to attack the submissions. Came close once, the second time. Worked his legs up nice and slow. When he got the armbar, really didn't need a second chance. And joined in the cage for celebrations by coach Chris Reese and the former bantamweight world champion Brett the Pikey Johns. Let's take a look back at the final phase of action in that contest. Much as we'd seen earlier, the precise striking exchanges. James perhaps just getting the better of them there, Josh. Yeah, and having this flurry up against the cage where he caught Scriven right on the end of his punches. Fantastic combinations here. Keeping his man trapped up against the fence. It was forcing Scriven to shoot the takedown. A really good takedown for Scriven. You see immediately the long legs coming into play. Cross feet, but it didn't matter, and that was the mistake where Scrivens took his weight off his opponent and stood up, allowed. Ladies James and gentlemen, the end comes in two minutes, 31 seconds. Round number two, submission by armbar for your winner from Swansea, Aiden 